Meteorologists hear it all the time. I must live in a bubble. Storms always split around my house. But can storms really split around a house or city? Let's raise your weather IQ. The easy answer is no. There are plenty of instances of storms splitting, but it has nothing to do with where your home sits. Splitting storms occur in environments with strong wind shear, which is the change of direction of winds with height. A storm can split when the top moves in one direction of the upper atmospheric winds, but the base of the storm moves in the direction of the lower surface winds. This will eventually cause one area of low pressure to split into two, causing two updrafts and then two storms. Thunderstorms can also break down when they lose their fuel, warm and moist air. When a storm encounters a cooler body of water, like a lake, it can weaken the driving force, the fuel, and dissipate the storm. Drier air can also shut off the updraft. There are three common types of storms in the southeast, single cell, supercells, and QLCSs. Your classic afternoon thunderstorm is single cell, which means it's constantly changing. Since there is no focal point of formation or lifting mechanism to drive the storm like a cold front, these are even more likely to collapse on themselves. If a storm is headed for you and it seemingly splits or disappears altogether, it has less to do about where you live and more to do about the complex and fluid nature of storms and the atmosphere. With your Weather IQ, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.